Okay, so this is a video all about how to use the ledger. This is a, uh, a double bin ledger, a 16 inch double bin ledger. What I do to all my ledgers is I put a Sorbo Quicksilver channel. You can always use a Sorbo Black Mamba too. That's the one I most suggest for getting the best results. Why? Because the ledger is so hard that if you use a slim channel and you try to close out, you'll get a lot of these hot guys because the Sorbo rubber is gonna be able to take, the Sorbo channel is gonna be able to take more force and allow you to close out better than a slim channel or any other channels that I found. I've tried using a Ninja channel on here, it doesn't work. Coldex Lumax doesn't work. Um, I just strongly suggest this, but we're basically gonna go over it today. It's not so much exactly what's going on up top, but what's going on with my hands. So first to explain, you won't put the mop on the window yet. Your hand placement and the way you move the pole is the most important thing when using the ledger. So your top hand there, whether it's your left or your right, this is gonna be more like um, your pull cue hand. The hand that you move through like this, while your right hand is moving the pole down. And when you get to the extent where your right arm is done moving, then you bring the rest through with your left arm. So with this window, I won't have to do much of that, but that's kind of like the idea of how to move the pole through your hands. When using the ledger, of course it's important. A lot of people have troubles with it falling off. Um, a wood tip is really good or these Unger ones will also hold it, but the wood tip is best, or a little duct tape. When I'm pulling this, I have my left hand up here, I'm letting the squeegee just move through, I'm letting the pole just move through my left hand. I'm not providing any force on my left hand. All the force is being done through the pole, the ledger, in my right hand, which is guiding the pole, but down. And if I reached here, and I still had to go further, then I would start bringing it down with my left hand. So real quickly up top there, we'll film that and show you how it looks up there to make sure that you're getting down to the frame. So it's very easy to think that you're getting, that once this area hits like right here that you've gotten down to the frame, but you've got to lift up a little bit more and kind of bring out the wave of soapy water to make sure that you're doing it right. So I'll show you that. So if you're at the top here, you come down and you just stop. Once it hits, you haven't gotten to the bottom. A good way of knowing you've gotten to the bottom is do it, do a little extra and you'll see some water come off or right here, I'll get a good wave. You want to pull that water off the frame and that's how you know that you've closed out good enough on deeper frames you're probably not gonna be able to bring that water out so much but when you hit that ledger let me detail this real quick and we'll do a little demonstration on a different window it's always always towel the top edge You don't need a towel the sides. It won't leave enough water on the sides that you need to detail that. You'll probably just leave more of a streak doing that. We'll come over here. You don't want to stop when the squeegee hits there. So when you're using your pole in a ledger, when you come down, you'll hit. You'll hit here. Now, if I just left there, you leave this bar of, of of water basically so when I come down on the pole what I'm doing at the end is bringing it through so that I'm not leaving that and I'm removing the water instead of over here you see I'm leaving this amount of water and water on the frame I know you could say oh this is easy because you're doing it by hand but I can literally feel this on the pole for how long I've been using the ledger for so there's some tips on how to use the ledger um, the hand movement, and also what to look for when closing out. Have a good day. We'll talk to you later.